Yeah. Yeah, Mars. He's playing Mars. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like we're doing a little bit of a button check before we start. That's Makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Make sure the controls are working. Mars you know, Falco versus Fox Falco. Yeah, I, I mostly play Ultimate. I notice like nobody really ever does button checks in in Ultimate. Like I've seen people do button checks like before a match, but it's very rare. It's not something that you see very often. Yeah, uh, button checks are a thing you do in this game for yeah. various reasons. Because some people have controls that are finicky, so they need to try to set up certain tech on their right. controllers. Like uh, shield dropping is a common one. Sometimes if your triggers get sticky, you're gonna have problems with uh, uh, L canceling or whatever. So yep. they don't want you or wave dashing. You want to avoid that. Yeah, you usually do want to avoid that kind of stuff. All right, so. They agreed to Battlefield, I assume. Maybe they struck, but I wouldn't think you'd end up here striking, quite honestly. I feel like both teams would be very okay with what Stadium. What would you usually strike? Uh, the Fox Falco team, I think FD is like actually pretty fine. Mm -hmm. And Stadium, I think you'd like. Right. Versus Marth, you might not want Yoshi Story, and you'd in, but you can leave Dreamland open. So I feel like they'd go Dreamland, FD, or Stadium, is where I think. That's what I would think, too, I mean, to be honest. So, yeah. like, like, as this double spaces. And so... Then it's just like, because like, Mark chain grabbing, if he chain grabs Fox, Falco can shoot lasers to interrupt, and if, ooh, that was awkward. Okay. <laughs> that was a little quirky. But, uh, yeah, I mean, stuff happens. It certainly wasn't intentional, but as oh, it is, yeah, yeah. Uh, Falco's just kind of like, hey guys, and you okay out there? And they're like, nah, nah, yeah, we're all can't, dead. I can't imagine that was intentional. So, uh, we are all tied up now, roughly. So it looks to be that way, yeah. Th a minute in, three stocks down. Seems reasonable. That's about that's about standard melee doubles, I'd say, for uh, uh, these types of teams. That was it a good catch on uh, Mars recovery there. I'm part of uh, the Falco on this team shoots. It looks like. Marth is. Oh, uh, I just noticed their team name. It shoots some ladders. Oh, that's beautiful. I didn't even pick up on that until now. <laughs> Thank you for saying that's that because yeah. I didn't. I, I mean, I didn't even see the team name, so I didn't even know that the other teams Redfin and Ram. Yeah. But okay, so I think a big thing to note is that Falco's team combos are like relatively easy. Mm -hmm. And so, a big thing we should look for here is how uh, teammates pick up on when Falco gets that down air that's going to pop him up or a shine. Because he right. can he can do vertical stuff, but if he has to double jump, he might you know be jumpless. And so having the teammate who can use a platform to get up there is yeah. a little easier. Yeah, I can imagine like otherwise that'll probably be a little bit committal. Like if we get hit by a Falco shine Fox up air, let me tell you, you die awful early to that. Yeah, you as Marth. You kind of yeah. Kind of just explode at eighty or whatever. You really so. just explode at like. Oh my gangster stuff. laser reset. Let's go. Uh, gangster laser, for those who don't know, is when Falco shoots the laser just grounded. Yeah. Because it looks sick. It does. And also, the, the, he holds his gun in a somewhat interesting fashion. Ooh, gets the snipe on that and does not get the downer in the right, just the right spot, so it actually loses. That can happen, but it usually happens when Falco is like too far to the side. You know? Yeah, I'm like, I've seen that happen, but not very often. The downer hitbox isn't that generous, so. Uh, definitely a bit of a slobber knocker. Ooh. And yeah. that'll be it for game one. Unless Fox does something yeah, really one. stupid, like falling up air in the blast zone. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Fox Falco wins that game, so I expect Yoshi's is the ban? Question mark. I mean, based off of what you said, that sounds like that would work bad. And so you either run it back, or maybe you try FD your stadium. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> FD this thing is a little higher, but. They didn't ban Yoshi Story. Okay, this is fine. Oh wait, he specified there's no ban. There's no ban. There's no ban. That's fine. Never mind. We're good. Yeah. So, Falco gets a lot of combo extensions here, and Marth can get kind of free tippers on the platform. They're not free, free, but they're like easier to hit them on uh, other stages for sure. So, yeah. So Ooh. this is, uh, this is just game two, Text right? the down air that was a sour spot. Yeah, this is game two. It's best of five, though, so there's no bans, which is oh, why they didn't, right. no they didn't uh, get rid of the stage. So um, this is looking definitely better for green team, but they want, like... I mean, things were looking already pretty up for them. Yeah, that's exactly one. it. I was going to say, like, they're actually doing better this game than they were game one, which I wouldn't expect on this stage. Uh, yeah, I honestly can't even tell you what changed. Like, there's a saying someone told me quite a while back, and they're like, bad teams take good teams to Yoshi's story to cheese games. Because with everything happening so fast, you can just, like, get hit by something, and yeah. then you're, no matter where you get hit, you're either off stage or next to the teammate, basically. That might, yeah. So, like, if, if the people are, like, somewhat aware, then you might just get hit by, like, random knees or whatever. When it's, like, Fox Falcon, like, up smash knee just happens on accident, and you yeah. die at 50. So, 
come oh, through. Like, Falco, Dare, Tipper will happen at some point, and you'll just die. And we're already tied back up. <laughs> it was, they were up three stocks, now they're not. And, like, that's that's what happens on Yoshi stories. It feels like stock leads don't actually matter here. It's about not, not really. It's about not dying. If yeah, you don't die, you're good. Like, it's arguably not even about, like, pushing in terms of, like, approaches. It's just, like, staying on stage. Well, one of the things is, like, Fox can get 16 frames off on an Invincible Ledge Dash, where, like, realistically, it's, like, 12 all the time. If yeah. you, like, do certain refresh methods. I think it can get as high as 14, but we'll give him some I mean, slack. Yeah. And it's like, there's ways to go about that. Ledge Dash, Short Hop, Nair, you cover literally half the stage Invincible on this stage. So you can get back to center stage Invincibly if you're, like, precise on your tech skill, which is just, like, really... And Marth also gets a much better Ledge Dash because he can take a better angle. And so it just... Yeah, stage control in this stage is almost impossible to maintain at times. It feels like yeah, it can it can be really hard to pull off. But green team has roughly the same margin they did at the end of game one, and so even if Marth takes the fox out, there's still two stocks left. And well, Falco threw it away at literal zero. Uh, that could actually cost them this game, straight up. Nope, not with that up recovery. Uh, because, I mean, he needed literally, like, you get a straight up tilt on Fox, which shouldn't be that laggy. Take Falco's laser, block, whatever, throw yeah. him off stage. GG's. So, Just like, yeah, shake hands at that point. That's when I would be very careful about moving forward. But game three, I mean, that was technically, uh, that was less close, I'd say. than I mean, the middle of the game was closer, but the ending was the same. They just got, so it's about... It's about just staying alive, I'd say, because like Marth can live quite a while if you don't get Fox up smashed, and yeah. so you can then kill them at zero. You know, they, they say Falco spawns at death percent, and that's actually true on this stage against Marth, and sort of in the Falco Ditto if, if their punish is good. So, so. Yeah. ooh, Tipper down smash with uh, good survival DI if you got Tippered, but it, it it wasn't actually Tipper, I don't think, and so he just almost died off the side and couldn't get back. We're seeing some pretty good mutual exchanges, considering how small the stage is, you know? Reminder that Falco's forward smash is actually a movement option on this stage. Yeah, it literally is, because it covers like a good portion of it. I have definitely unironically forward smashed four times in a row as Falco on this stage. Yeah. And it's like... It's it viable. Yeah, exactly, because you can just you like, you can just go back and then go forward. It's like the world's dumbest looking dash dance. And it kills at like, what, 90 or whatever? On this stage, yeah. I mean, it, it'll kill at like 60 with bad DI, but with good DI, you put them way off stage, you can set up the lasers or have your teammate Fox look for a shine spike. It's all kinds of stuff. Uh, Falco dying off the side to forward air because he DI'd out to not get, I don't know, Ken Comer or something, but... That's the other thing, a spacey side B from Legend, but you on literally the opposite half the stage in this matchup, which is like yeah. super funny. As opposed to Dreamland, where it just picks you to center. Ooh, gets back door down and jumps into it. Fox trying to get something similar on Marth, but he does not have a, a dare that spikes strong with just the weak hits of drill. So. Uh, and once again, we're roughly tied up halfway through the match. I would say so, yeah. But red team immediately behind. loses a set stock when I say that, and Marth oh, yeah, takes it right say, back. Like, Fox is super high up on percent, so I can't imagine yeah. too far yeah. I mean, the one thing is you can get hit with all kinds of combo starters here and live if the teammate breaks it up. Because the, the combo starters are what kills you. It's the enders. I'm seeing Mark down smash more than I'm used to, and so far it's actually working out really well for him. He's gotten some pop-ups, some kills off the side. Uh, he does cover both sides, you know. First hit's relatively fast. Main flaw with that move is it's incredibly laggy for no yeah, discernible reason. Be really bad in terms of lag. So if it gets blocked, you just, like, die. But both of Red Team is off stage. Randall the Cloud comes in clutch. Are they're not share stocking, I guess? Uh, yeah, I guess not. I don't know. I would think they would. I mean, look, he's in a pretty bad spot. But then again, he's already high. Maybe, maybe they've already decided he's like the better player. It could be that they decide they want Marth here because they want to cheese him and Falco yeah, there has could to be play. Some other form of judgment that. Once I get also if if he's the better one, not share stocking until he gets the ledge, but ask him to plank the ledge and come back down there and. I mean that's one. He needs. Bad D, Tipper on bad DI will kill Fox here straight up. Like, yeah. uh, no, even center stage, he's dead. And you can hit, you know, Marth has a slick combo game on these platforms if you're comfortable with the tech chases with up tilt and Is up air. If you're willing to, like, ooh, yeah, Fly Guy might have saved him there, but not.